Alright, so I thought I'd do a video um, based on questions I've had quite a lot on social media. Which should I go for? A Hater 56 Pro or the Toro Pro Stripe? Now, if you've seen my Instagram stuff, this is my main mower now. I'm going to tell you why I prefer that over that. And as a result, this has been sold uh, next week. So the first thing was I bought the 56 first. Um, for instantly noticed the engine being probably one of Briggs's most plasticky engines ever. It's even got a plastic carb on it, which um, not a fan of myself, not a fan of the idea. And something I mentioned in my one year review to keep the drive at a normal pace, you sort of hold it like that and it's not comfortable. Um, uh, I get the reason they've put that gearbox in, but there's no real adjustment like you have on the Toros, which have that uh, sense of speed handle which you push down. Um, they're the only gripes with this machine. Uh, the length of it, the cut is pretty good, the stripe is good, BBC, it's, yeah, it's all pretty good. The wheels are a lot better than the previous model. But then when I demoed this, being in my favourite colour, um, I preferred using it. One thing I did notice, um, the other day, because I've had this in storage and haven't used it in ages, quickly used it and realised that when it gets to the end of a uh, end of a pass, end of a stripe, and you want to do a quick nudge, it it can't give you a quick nudge because of the gearbox being a funny funny gearbox. With this being a three speed, you're always locked into just one gear. Where that it's quite a few different uh, gears or whatever it, whatever it is. So this you can have that little sort of a bit of an, an, a nudge to get you going. It's not as aggressive as a, a shaft drive uh, product, but that is something I prefer. And you can just literally, wherever you push from that here onwards, it's all the same speed. So you just literally engage it and away, away you go nice and at, at the right pace with this as I say it's not not comfortable so a bit of a I wouldn't say a design flaw because some people like the pace it goes at it's far too quick but there you are um, now also this has this match cut thing I haven't used that once yet So yeah, as a match cut, I'm yet to use. <laughs> um, I might give it a go one, one of these days. Another thing I like are these wheels. Um, I think one of them is bent, not too sure. But these are a lot bigger, a lot beefier, if you look inside. If you can see it that easily. But it's, it seems a lot more better built. And that is a Toro wheel it's not a, a hater wheel it's on the uh i think it's on the turf master it's on the pro line they are really good strong uh wheels bumper on these have missed one of the end pieces it literally clipped a, i can't remember what it clipped now a wall or a tree or something it disappeared seems a bit of an odd design don't know why they can't just weld a bit of metal on, on the end and then you haven't got bits flying off. Um, so as I say with the drive, you've got three speed gearbox. Works better if you haven't got crap in it. But there you are. Um, and the engine, something I've rambled on quite a bit about before. <laughs> um, it's just a superior engine. Um, 
don't even know what to compare it to. This is like a, a Mercedes F1 engine and that rig seems to be a bit of a Renault Formula 1 engine. Not as good quality, lack of power. Uh, it's just better built, it's harder. Plastics, metal here, easy access to the air filter. Well, this you've got, okay, it's not that bad. You've got to just do that and lift it off. But it's all a bit eh, plasticky. I'm not a fan of it. If you start these up, you can tell the difference. This just sounds 10 times better. Um, and because of that, that's why I prefer it. The engine is nice so the dry speed go at better speed for collecting grass. Uh, the bag isn't on here because I've just been washing the mower with the wash port. Um, one thing just to, um, well, that I found in like testing these uh, about June, July time last year, maybe. Uh, when I had this on demo, not this exact one, but the same, <coughs> the same one. Um, on the same lawn, I can remember it. I do it on a Friday morning. It's quite shady, so it is quite damp. Um, and I would always do it on number three. So I did it on that one, the 56. Height number three, it takes about... 45 minutes to cut and when it was wet because it was uh, I can't remember if it was just well if it was June July probably it was quite wet June so it was soaking wet well damp not soaking wet it was damp I had to unclog this twice the next week it was just as wet same height of cut and number three on the pro stripe i had to unclog it once so there you are 100 percent more build up on the 56 um and that could be down to a number of different things but the dry speed being one of them because you can't control it as easily probably didn't help i was trying to go at a more comfortable pace but that engine, I think it gives a lot more, gives a lot more constant power, I think, than the Briggs. Um, the only sort of downside to this machine, if you are going to use it, you know, for your uh, gardening business, if you have a small van or you want to fold the handlebars down, it is a bit of a more of a long-winded job. You've got these uh, screws and nuts you've got to do. I'll say two here, two there, and then fold it down. Where on the hater, they've got the usual uh, system here, which is which is fine. Uh, that's probably the only <laughs> sort of advantage that I would give it. Um, one of the weird things is getting hold of one of these, you have to go to a, a Toro dealer and not just a hater dealer. I don't know why this is because you can get the other Toro uh, commercial stuff from hated dealers like the Pro Line and the Turf Master, but for some reason this one you have to go to a Toro dealer. Now for me, it's about a 45 minute journey to the dealer where if I want to get Hater, it's five ten minutes. So it's a bit of a weird system. I wish Hater and Toro would change that. Um, I think they could be scared that everyone actually realises this is a better machine and no one buys a 56 Pro unless they want to save, I don't know, maybe, I think there's a price difference, two, three hundred quid. I think that's a bit extreme considering it's just the Kawasaki engine and a gearbox which are made by Toro. So surely the price of the gearbox doesn't differ that much. All you've got is different length handlebars and the wheels and that match cut thingy, which that can't cost a hundred quid to make. So, um, yeah, a little bit of a ramble as, uh, as normal. Uh, they all suffer with the same problems, mainly in the wet, because they have a mesh bag, which 
still some companies can't quite get their head around why the likes of Etesia and the steel roller ones can collect wet grass and they have plastic boxes on them. So can't see it being too tricky to work that one out myself. But there you are, that's life. Hopefully they'll find out one day and give it a go and then be like, oh, we should have done that before. But there you are. So hope that's useful. Power and speed control with this and a much nicer color. Cheaper engine. I'm going to say cheaper gearbox. Obviously, I don't know for sure, but only get this if you have to, where you can't get one of them. That is my opinion. Again, all my opinion. Obviously, some people might have completely different opinions, but there you are. That's life. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.